Welcome to another Insider Special Report. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by Texas Tech offensive lineman Jacob Hines. Jacob, how you doing, man? Good and you, sir. I'm good. Hey, I wanted to catch up with you. Obviously, big game coming off the 17-14 TCU or win over TCU. Um, that was your first start of the season. I know you played some, but uh, what was it like? Uh, and when did you find out you were going to be starting? Um, I found out I was going to start uh, the Sunday following the West Virginia game. And um, it was, you know, just a great feeling. Coach Jones always t preaches to us about just preparing like we're the starter. And uh, I've just been, you know, doing that the whole season, just waiting for my opportunity. Now you started two games last year, if I'm correct, right? Uh, let's see, Eastern Washington and Arizona, uh, yeah, Arizona State. Is that right? And yes, did that help you get seasoning as far as at least you, you know, you would, I know your, your experience, your senior, but as far as starting and all that, did that help at all? Oh, uh, yeah, it was, a, you know, a great learning opportunity because uh, junior college ball is great and all, but it's nothing, you know, like right. Big 12 football. So uh, it was just a different animal. But being able to get those two starts last year just uh, mentally get me ready and things like that. Yeah, take me back to your recruiting process. You know, of course, we're a recruiting website there inside the Red Raiders. What was it like? And kind of just give us give us a synopsis of your decision to come to Texas Tech. Um, you know, after talking with Coach uh, Hayes and Coach Morris back, I think it was the, towards the end of 2017. You know, we just uh, we just both felt like we were a good fit for each other, and uh, I was blessed with the opportunity by them and Coach Kingsbury, and uh, I've just been happy ever since. There was a lot going on. That was a you know Thursday night game. You know, on the road, hectic. You know, uh, Bailey Smith was in there for, for Paul, and then, of course, Bruffy gets hurt and goes out, you know, and Deaton comes in. Just kind of break that down. And uh, honestly, did do you normally practice with those guys more than the other guys, or how did that how did that break out? Um, yeah, normally I practice more with Bailey and Dawson, but, you know, like uh, like Coach Jones preaches, he has us, he has uh, our guys ready to go for it just in case. You never know what happens with football. Uh, it's always next man up with us, and like I said, Coach Jones always has us ready to go. Speaking of Coach Jones, um, can you kind of speak to that, just your relationship with him? Like, you know, I know you touched on it, but just overall, what is he like as a coach with, with y'all in that offensive line room? Oh, he's a great coach. Yeah, you know he cares for you. Um, he shows tough love, but that's what we need, of course, you know, just to become like the, the best offensive line that we can be. And uh, I just appreciate everything he's done for me over the past two years. It's making me a better football player and a better person, I believe. And then with Kansas coming up, uh, what's the key to that game, and what, what are you looking for from that Jayhawks defensive front? Uh, just for, for us, you know, their defense is – it's, it's good this year. I think they lead the Big 12 or the, the country in total margin. So for us, it's just making sure our quarterback stays upright, make sure the running backs stay upright, and we get fine passing lanes, running lanes, just make sure we set things up for them. All right, hey, Jacob, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.